G'day guys, Cass here. Today we're going to be playing through a Steam Indie Horror game called My Bones. I'll quickly read you the Steam store description. My Bones. It is a short but very interesting horror about a man who woke up in his own grave next to his family. It's by GD Nomad, published under Infernal Dream, but Infernal Dream is still just GD Nomad. It's made on Game Guru for a change, not Unity, so I'm sure this is bound to be tons of fun. Let's check out about... Yeah, not mouse for a view. Okay. Revive. Revive. Never mind then. Okay. Let's see what the damage is. Before I forget, the game does cost $7.50 Australian, which for you Yankee viewers out there is $5.35. Money well spent, I'm assuming. There we go. I was just like everyone else. I had a family, job, friends. I was happy. To me, one day, something happened. I felt like I was possessed by something evil. I was attacked by such a strong anger, I couldn't help it. We lived not far from the village in the woods. What year is it? Our family was not perfect, but we were happy. I had a daughter and two sons. The mishap occurred when I was in the woods and stumbled upon a strange crypt. At that moment, I was met by wild anger. At that moment, came to me, my wife, and nearby lay the axe. Then it was all a blur. Translation jobs absolutely bloody amazing, so I'm sure this is going to be an enjoyable experience. And we skip. We bed the skull. Oh, okay. Hoping you guys all had a wonderful day. I have a feeling mine's about to get real interesting. Cool, here we are. Now. Wow. Nearly am in my own go. Oh, I can jump. There's a change. F flashlight. Got one from the beginning. Not sure why we're buried with one, but okay. This is the tomb my wife. Oh, you gave her a big enough one, mate. Jeez. On the wall in some probably store-bought front. I loved him better than all. I did not expect that he will go crazy and kill me with an axe. Oh. Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect it either, but okay. But I love it all smooth. What? I don't even want to think about what you love smooth. Let's just keep moving. Nothing out of the way, just gates. Not sure where those crows are, but okay, they're cooked to my daughter. Daddy, why did you kill me? It was fun. And... Yep. Good now, can I read? Thank you. We walked near the river when you took me into the arms and began to sink. I love you, Daddy. I know you didn't. Okay. I love the key for this. Thank you. Thanks for the experience. I'm not coming back here. Hope the rest of it gets overgrown and nobody ever finds you. Which way am I going? It's out. Let's go in. Crows part two. Our first ball. Okay. Wait, he didn't leave me a note. That's not fun. Playing clipping through the side of the crypt. Okay, church, we get it. No? Not a dream, mate. I'm stuck in here with you, so it can't be. What arcade cabinet are you out of, mate? House of the Dead? Jeez. Nice chunky brain, that. Oh my god, how many crows do you have? trip around that my FPS bombs if I look at that what okay
I swear those loading screens are just getting longer and longer. The cutscene. Okay. I think we could have pieced together what happened without that, but... Whatever. Even in the darkest corners of our souls, hiding the light. Right. Whatever. Torch to turn off for no reason. Quick squeak. This is all we're going to be doing. Finding a key. Finding a lock door. Oh, monster. Hello. I was promised entertainment. Where is it? Well, the choir's active at least. Really active. The beast is on the loose. No, he's stuck behind there still. Let's go say good day. Wait, can we? Nope. Okay. Oh. That's the kind of game we're playing. Okay. Just push the door open, mate. Oh, this is fun. Family, children, happiness, soul, forgiveness, brother, wife, good fun, dota. Right. Thanks for the key. That's not even... I didn't even open the door. Got another key. Come on, Tick. Just gonna turn that down in my head a little bit so I don't lose my hearing to uh. Come to my left. Wow, my ears getting a lovely massage. Holy. No map. It's lagging, so I'm assuming it's loading something. Yeah. Woo! GD Nomad, ladies and gentlemen. Truly really ahead of his time. A visionary in the field. It's got multiple endings. Do I want the lady super happy or the one T posing on me? Well, I mean, the T posing is hip and groovy right now, so let's do that one. Hi. Through the magic of editing, you won't have to suffer through these. But they are long and arduous. Except for this one, apparently. We forgive you and give you a second chance. Oh, lovely. Is that why you dug me out of the... Hello, light-absorbing cheese. Hey. Okay. Do I bothered locking it? I managed to get out of hell. Even the worst person has the right to a second chance in our life. There are moments when the good becomes bad and the bad is good. I'm not sure what you're even trying to say there. Despite all, I will try to change. I want to become good. Heartwarming. My lord. It really brings a tear to my eye. I could write a book on it. And this awkward panning of a forest in the background is really tying the scene together. And it just popped me back in. Continue. Sure. And that just pulls me back to the main menu. Okay. Guys, do you really think it's going to be worth me going back through that for the other ending? The 50, well, the 5% of you that actually care about my well-being probably don't want me to, but you know what that means. More loading screen fun. 
Guess who's back? Okay. Now for that full playthrough, full walkthrough, all endings, all that garbage to chuck in the title. Maybe I should stay in the shade, maybe I'll find... Nah. Nah, this is where it's at, mate. She's got the interesting pose. Wow, this ending actually has something. Lovely. Okay. What do you mean? This? And why can I moon jump now? Like he walks in the air for four steps. What the hell? It's my. How can you tell? I've got your bloody name on it. Stay, don't try to leave. Here's your place. I need you here. You exactly can't escape. We will not let you go. Who's we? Oh, we got food though. That's hyped. Entire chook. Okay, well, nothing's here. Maybe in the barn. That cut. What? I was not able to start the car, it was very old and lacked a lot of details. I mean, yeah, the texture was complete crap, but I can never get out of this hell. Wherever I went, I came to this place. Only wasted my life, I have no excurse. For all the sins that I've done, this place has become my hell. I needed to appreciate in my life every moment. But in this place I've sinned, killed. I didn't believe in the new life, I have no excuse, and yet... I will believe that my family is in a better place. Right. Okay. Yeah. That was about as worth it as I imagined. Um. Thanks for coming, guys. Lovely having you here. Then I did that weird thing where it loads the next five seconds. Yep. Cool. No, we're not continuing. That was it. Um. Yeah. That's all. Remember to like, favorite, subscribe, ring the bell, ding my dong, all that lovely stuff. Uh, you have a lovely one. See you.